All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV, and let's get started. So, uh, first time I've ever done a ink pen, a pen, uh, you know, review on the channel, um, and that's what we're gonna do today. So, I'm gonna start off by showing you guys. Uh, this is a pen. This is not the one we're reviewing today, but this is the one that I've carried for probably six months before the one I'm about to show you. This is the Parker uh, Jotter London Skyline Edition that my buddy um, Brad at Mild Mannered EDC gave me. I love this pen, super clicky. Uh, this is like a $28 or $30 pen, depending on where you get it. Parker is an industry standard uh, as far as they've just been around for a long time. And I have a, let's see, which one do I have in here? I have a Parker uh, ball pen uh, refill in here. And it's, I think this one might be blue. It is. So this is a uh, blue uh, ball pen Parker uh, Jotter uh, ink refill. So uh, what are we going to talk about, guys? So uh, I reached out to Refine and asked if they wouldn't mind sending me a pen uh, to check out. And the one they sent me was the EP1. Now, Refine uh, has been around for a while making these uh, bolt-action pens. Uh, I dig this pen. Now, uh, the reason I wanted to show you the Parker was to kind of do some size comparisons first. So, as you can see, the EP1 is, is wider around, so the diameter is uh, bigger than uh, the Parker. And it's also a little bit uh, shorter than the Parker, if you see there. Um, this one... And again, I should, uh, I still have my scale out here from a review I did a minute ago. So let me, we're going to do some, some weigh-in too, just for fun. Now the Parker is 0.49 of an ounce, so less than half an ounce. The copper uh, EP1 is 1.48 ounces. And then we have Kevin Lefty EDC sent me this, uh, uh, shoot, what do they call it? Satin finished, uh, titanium one that one weighs 0.92 so we kind of have a step up so we have a half an ounce with the parker we have just under an ounce with uh the titanium and an ounce and a half uh with the copper uh the copper one uh has already picked up quite the patina from me using it as you can see it's even got uh my actual if you you know if i committed a crime which i'm not going to by the way uh, you guys could go uh, take my fingerprints off of here. Uh, just kidding. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. Uh, again, it came with bright, shiny copper, it, sort of like that. And it has picked up the patina in my hand. Now, this one comes with a shiny uh, stainless steel clip and the cap on top uh, with the screw. Now, my only real thing is when this, this got here, that clip kept coming loose. Now, I've been carrying them in my shirt pocket um, and the clip kind of kept unscrewing so i just took a torx and tightened it down real good and it hasn't done it again same thing with kevin's uh that kind of backed out a little bit um and i just tightened it down and it's 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 fine it's not coming loose anymore now that one as you can see has more of a satin finished or gray finished uh clip on it um and really cool now the copper one has a stainless steel barrel in there and the titanium one has a copper uh, barrel in there, as you can see. So that's really an interesting touch. Um, I know Kevin has said he wished that was just, you know, uh, gray as well on the one he has. Um, really super fidgety on the on the um, click here. So the way this works is uh, when it's up inside, it's up here, and then you just literally pull it down and over, and uh, it deploys the pin. Uh, and then click. I mean, it's so smooth and easy. Uh, unfortunately, my wife thinks it's a little too smooth and easy because I, I sat uh, in the living room just doing this over and over again. She says, stop it. Uh, that is super fun. Uh, the action on the titanium one is just as good. Uh, just a great design. The way they've made it is really good. Now, like I said, I really dig the size of these. Um, and so two things here. This one uh, rides in the shirt pocket really well. This one kind of makes the shirt pocket sag just a little bit because it's a little heavier. Not a big deal for me. Don't really care. Um, I know Kevin would rather just take the clip off of his and throw it in his pocket or on the floor as I just did. Um, so 
on this one, uh, you can kind of see where it breaks uh, to take the refill out. On this one, uh, the, the finishing is just so good. You can't really even see where it's at. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm blind without my glasses on. I need to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm showing you. So there you go. Um, really, really cool. So let's take this apart. Now, Kevin's came with um, a Parker ball pin uh, refill um, because that's what he prefers. As a left-hander, uh, he prefers the Parkers. The Parkers write really light colored to me. They're, they're very, um, the flow of ink is, is lesser. Um, so for a lefty, if you're dragging back over the ink, that's going to keep you from smearing it. I prefer the Schmidt refills because um, I have a tendency to push real hard. And the Schmidt's, because they flow so well, they allow me to not push as hard. And I can flow real easy in my writing and it looks a lot better. Yeah, there you go. A little too much. Uh, so that's the Parker. And there is the Schmidt 9000, uh, which is the one I prefer uh, for sure. I really, really do. Um, and you know, they're all the same size. You can pick what you want guys. I mean, that's cool. So again, really easy, simple construction. You just take that front front cap off, comes out. You got the spring here. You take, take the spring off, put it on the new refill, uh, put it back in and then screw it closed. Make sure it gets seated down into the barrel of the, uh, the bolt action and uh, then just screw it shut and you are good to go back to where you were. So really simple pins now. Um, uh, and they do say here the copper one is 1.4, uh, nine ounces. Uh, the dimensions are 4.53 inches by uh, 0.39 inches. The weight is uh, 41 grams or 1.45 ounces. Um, removable deep pocket carry clip if you'd like to take it out. Uh, uses, it comes with a Schmidt cartridge, but it's the Parker G2 style refills. Uh, Torx T6 is the hardware. Uh, really cool. Now, uh, the copper one is about $49, okay? Uh, on Refine's website, which I will, what did I just do? Which I will link below. Uh, let me go over to the titanium one real quick. Da, 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 da. All right, the, um, the titanium one if you get the the shiny titanium, in other words, the not uh, the the polished titanium, not the satin finished titanium, that one is sixty nine dollars. And if you get the stone washed titanium, it's seventy nine dollars. I should be showing the stone washed stone washed titanium seventy nine, uh, copper uh, forty nine, and then right in here you've got the polished titanium at uh, sixty nine. So yeah, did I get that right? Yes, I did. Okay. So there you go, guys. That is the Refine EP1, and this is a really good pin. Um, I'm going to be continuing to carry uh, this copper one a lot. Uh, we've got to talk to Kevin and find out if he wants me to send this back to him or do what with it. We'll find out. I think he mentioned maybe giving this to Trevor if he wants it and uh, my son, and we'll, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, really cool pins, and you guys know I'm still going to carry the Parker Jotter because this is an absolute classic and I'm telling you, I have beat this guy around, and it is still just gorgeous. Uh, just holds up really well. They've they've really perfected that. But the refined pins are are I like the fact that they are uh, bigger around, and it feels better in my hand. Uh, the grip I get with it, the flow I get with the with the writing. And again, I'm not going to bother showing you writing. You know what writing looks like. Um, but again, just depends on what ink refill you want and what you like there. So a little longer review, but uh, three different pins to kind of show off. And uh, especially thank you to Refine for sending those along, uh, for sending the copper one along, and for Kevin for sending the uh, titanium one along. Uh, thank you ever so much. And guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments. What do you carry? What pins do you use? Uh, is a Refine one you might want to look at? You should. And... Uh, Really, really uh, appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think. And guys, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it, whatever. Uh, any interaction is good. And uh, thanks so much, guys. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And thanks so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.